everyone dances. I realized later in my life that I was dancing in the womb. My first partner was my mom. Dance is honest. What is there is truth. There's nothing like the feeling. What is that emotion? Sometimes I think dance is filled with more spirituality than what I hear in the pulpit. Because they respond spiritually to what they do in their life. And you recognize something that is available beyond yourself, that is filled with wonderment. There's a magnificence of beauty. It's transcendental in a way. Atlanta Ballet, as most people in Atlanta know, is the longest continuously operating ballet company in the country. The atmosphere at Atlanta Ballet is an unusual one in the ballet world. In John McFall's company, every dancer is a creative artist as well. And every dancer is invited to, asked to, contribute their ideas, to explore, to experiment, to try things that are new, to invest more of themselves in the creative process. There is something about that sharing of yourself when you are creatively invested in the work that really does touch an audience. A lot of ballet stuff is harsh. There are a lot of cultures, you know, it's harsh. That's not the journey for an artist. You bring joy into the studio. You imbue them with wonder. You tell them stories. Well, that's what you do as a partner, too. You share a capacity to let each other be full of wonderment. If you've made a decision not to pressure people, but to inspire them every day, I think it takes a tremendous amount of imagination and soulfulness and vision to keep them inspired because ballet is really hard you know I mean these people have deal with pain every day but there's something beyond those comforts that inspires them to do what they do and he taps that every day dance is not something you hang on a wall in a museum it's alive in the moment and so it's like a bird in flight you feel it you welcome it and classical dancing is basically from a bygone century, you know? But again, you know, it's not like in a museum and you appreciate all those works. You embrace them and that's sort of the infrastructure and the foundation of what led us to where we are. But what's more interesting to me is now. It's today. It's what's going on in the world, in our own community. It's bringing the arts to other people. It's about expression. It's not about standing in line and getting your leg up high. It's about you know, living. Yeah, it's about ideas. It's about stories that are about living today. He was very empowering as a director because he puts a lot of trust in his dancers. So um, when you have that trust, you feel comfortable in your skin and you can go on stage and really let it all out there. And um, I'm a father now too, I have a little four year old. So those sort of, those life lessons that we learned here at the ballet, I tried to you know, put that forward into my personal life as well. Um, I think it's much better to have people feel empowered and have that freedom to be who they are. And I think that it creates better artists and, and better humans, better people. He's so passionate about the arts and the community and especially the younger generation and how we bring that forward. But it's pretty uh, contagious that, you know, that feeling. Like I, I feel like it's now I've been given a mantle and I can carry it forward of reaching a new generation, reaching the audience in new and fun ways and staying curious and I think he gave me and all of the other dancers a certain confidence because we were given certain freedoms to explore and really become our own voice.
on stage and off. And I think that is giving me the confidence to go forward carrying this mantle of community and arts and growing and staying engaged with each person. And I'm grateful for that. I definitely feel that, like, yeah, he's left a legacy and it, now it's on to all of us individual dancers to carry it. It was a privilege to bring them together and to help mentor and guide and let them become who they are. And they're the choreographers today, and they're the arts leaders today. When he first became director, that was one of his passions, is to immediately create a Center for Dance Education. He definitely had a huge vision, and it wasn't for just to create professional dancers. It was for the entire community. There was nothing that he saw that was insurmountable. It comes from taking a young child and really, really giving them a gift of an open mind. I think he's somebody who has worked very hard to stay true to his convictions and fundamentally just to inspire. I got more out of it than I could possibly give. My personal fulfillment, enlightenment, the experience. You see the eyes? of the child in the costume, just about ready to go out on stage, you know, that's priceless. So I got more out of it than anybody.